going on everyone? My name is Zach and welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing Mary Queen of Scots. There's a lot of reasons to be excited about Mary Queen of Scots. One being Sorcerer Ronan and Margot Robbie, two of the most brilliant and brightest actresses out there right now, are starring in this film as Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth. And plus you have Josie Rourke who is becoming a brand new directorial debut coming out and directing Mary Queen of Scots, which is a period piece which sometimes I'm a little iffy on. I... You either get me with the purity pieces or you don't. And this film, I'll say this, it got me on board and I had a blast watching Mary Queen of Scots. There are reasons to enjoy this movie and there's a lot of reasons to go check this film out in theaters. One of the reasons being is that Josie had such a great, great eye for the camera. As a directorial debut, man, this is a great one of that. She just takes an eye to the camera and just commands the screen with the presence and the look of the film and the direction that she gave to her actresses and actors in here are wonderful. Everyone does such a great job in here. I mean, when you get Source of Ronin on a project, you know she must be passionate about it. And I've seen Ronin in the last couple of films that she's been in. Lady Bird, I thought she was fantastic in. Brooklyn, I thought she was exquisite and just superb in that film. But now I think we might have her best performance to date and that's within this film. She not only becomes Queen Mary, she embodies her in every ounce of the way. And I do mean this in a hundred percent. She embodied Queen Mary so strongly that I not for one instance where I was like, oh, that's Sorcerer Ronan. No, that that is that is Queen Mary on the screen right now. And she was fantastic in this film. Margot Robbie is also really good in here. I think she should have won the Oscar last year for I, Tanya. Completely honesty out there. You're looking at Margot Robbie. She's a great actress. I won't go as far as say this is one of her best performances of like all time, but she is still really good and she embodies Queen Elizabeth as well. But sometimes I was like, oh, that's just Margot Robbie doing an accent. Yeah. Everyone else does a really good job in here. And again, the two main leads in here are excellent especially Ronan really commanding the screen as the main protagonist of this story and this is a very interesting story following Queen Mary as she's trying to well get the throne back from Queen Elizabeth her cousin it is a very intriguing story at that and again period pieces either I think are excellent or lacking and kind of boring I think if you're a fan of period pieces, you're definitely, this is going to be your cup of tea, no pun intended. If you're a fan of both these main actresses, or you're just interested in seeing another woman director command the scream and take command of it, then it's your cup of tea as well. For people who aren't big fans of period pieces, this isn't going to really win you over. This is a film that you kind of got to, you got to be in the mood for. And that, that's completely honest. It, it, sometimes the film can be a lacking. And there are certain sequences where they rush over things or skip over things that I feel like they should have tackled down more on. This is a two-hour runtime. And it flies like that, which is excellent to hear a pacing just go like that. But there are elements in the film where I was like, you should have focused a little bit more on that thing. Or you shouldn't have skipped over that. Because there's this spreads a couple years. And there's a couple things where it skips over a year. And you're like, oh! We skipped over a year. I might only know this because this little kid who was like one years old in this scene, the next scene, he's like three. Or say, no one really looks older. And I, I feel like as exquisite as all the costume design, like this film will be nominated for costume design, hands down. The costume design is insane. And even the makeup as well is beautiful. I didn't really see anyone aging. And I know it's only a couple of years, but that tells you how many years it's been. You kind of just have to guess. And at times I feel like I was playing behind the curtain, trying to catch up with what's going on. There's other revelations coming up upon the screen. Again, I was very intrigued with the story. I was invested. It swept me back, threw me back to this time period. And I felt like I was there. And that's a great thing. That's what the director got me there. That's what all the acting and actresses did in here. They performed that well. And the whole feel of the film got me there but I wanted more and sometimes in the film it feels like it's building up to something that never really happens there is an ending that they kind of show in the beginning and I, I don't think that was the right choice to do but it kind of just got there and it feel like we skipped certain things and montage through it I think this film could have easily been longer I think it would have even have been better as a mini series but still Mary Queen of Scots carries one of the best performances of the year within Source of Ronin. It carries a tremendous score that is one of my favorites of the year as well. I, I love the score for this film. It just really bombarded and just added to the sequences and adding to you being in this film and feeling like you're actually there. The direction is strong. It has some good writing in it that I think could have been a little bit 
thick touched up or fixed up i think the film definitely needed to be longer i think there's a couple elements where they should have focused more on and tackled certain sequences a little bit more too everyone does a good job mary queen of scots is one of those films that again if you're a fan of period pieces it's your cup of tea if you're a fan of these two actresses go check it out this isn't going to convert you into loving period pieces definitely is a worth your time seeing in a theater especially because again this film needs your attention at all times so with all that said i'm going to give mary queen of scots a b you know what your guys thoughts are on mary queen of scots are you guys excited for it are you not let's talk about it down below in the comments let me know who you think is better do you think source ronan is a better actress or Margot Robbie, or you just love them both. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Guys, if you guys are new here and you guys want to check out some movies early, check out Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens. You can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, until next time, stay classy. <laughs>